Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. The Global Hawk unmanned aerial vehicle has reached a milestone. Don Waldman reports from Edwards Air Force Base, California on the aircraft's 10th anniversary. It was February 28, 1998, when a Global Hawk unmanned aerial vehicle took to the skies for the first time. That flight happened at Edwards Air Force Base when the RQ-4 Global Hawk flew for one hour at an altitude of 32,000 feet. One of those who witnessed the first flight as a safety chase driver was Tom Bryson. The uh, significance of uh, coming 10 years to this point in time is just amazing. We went from a unproven large UAV, uh, very successful on the first flight, and extremely successful through the program to now these aircraft you see behind us, uh, which are the second and third generation of the Global Hawk. Much larger, much more capable, uh, and much more proven. The high altitude, long endurance, unmanned aerial reconnaissance system is designed to provide real-time imagery of large geographic areas. It can reach an altitude of up to 65,000 feet and loiter for more than 30 hours. And developers say there's even more on the horizon. We are continuing to support the global war on terror. We are delivering new capabilities, uh, new payload packages for the military. We're also moving out into uh, other areas. We're using Global Hawks to support homeland defense. We have just recently used Global Hawks to assist in California with the major summer fires that occurred from San Diego and the Mexican border all the way to the Los Angeles area. Don Waldman, Edwards Air Force Base, California. For more on today's top stories, log on to Air Force Link.